Here's a point of law that often confuses students in an SQE scenario. There are 800 ordinary shares in KLM Men Limited that have been issued to the following shareholders, Ken, Layla, Mo and Nelly. And the question is, can Layla and Nelly block a special resolution to change the name of the company, which is supported by Ken and Mo? And the key question here is whether Ken and Mo have got the sufficient majority, which is 75%. Well, let's do the calculation. 500 Ken shares, 100 for Mo, that's 600 in total, out of a total of 800. So 600 divided by 800, multiply that by 100 equals 75. That means they've got exactly 75% of the shares. So they can pass a special resolution without relying on Layla and Nelly's shares. What often confuses students is that they work out that Layla and Nelly have got 25% exactly between them. But the rule is that they need an additional one single share above their 25% shareholding to block a special resolution, which on the facts they do not.